Hello all, Randy Rogers, Mortgage Loan Originator here. Today, I want to quickly touch again on the topic of PMI or MIP, the mortgage insurance payments that borrowers must pay with an FHA loan and if they do not put at least 20% down on a conventional mortgage purchase. According to Freddie Mac, most folks pay between $30 and $70 per month for every $100,000 that they borrow. As an example, a buyer of a $300,000 home might reasonably expect to pay between $90 and $210 a month. Particularly on the upper end of that scale, getting out of PMI payments can make a big difference to a family. It's like getting a raise of more than $2,500 per year, which can buy a lot of fishing tackle, or maybe, maybe even pay for books for a semester of a kid's college. So when can you drop PMI or MIP? If you have an FHA loan and you did not put at least 10% down, MIP lasts the life of the loan. If you put at least 10% down, it will automatically drop after 11 years. For conventional 30-year mortgages, PMI will drop after the loan balance reaches 78% of the home's original value. This usually takes 11 years. You should receive an amortization schedule when you buy a home that gives the specific date. If a consumer pays extra on their principal, however, they can request that a lender drop PMI when their balance reaches 80%. They will need to contact their lender in writing. Email can usually work. They must have a good payment history and no second liens on their property. A borrower may have a minimum time frame, such as two years before they will allow PMI to drop, and they may require an appraisal to prove the home is still worth at least the sales price. Requesting PMI drop a couple of years early can mean a lot of money stays in your pocket. I did this recently myself. If you are looking to purchase a home or refinance in the great state of Texas, it would be a pleasure to be your lender. Contact me or apply today through my website, trinityoaksmortgage.com slash R-R-O-D-G-E-R-S. Have a blessed day.